Hi, it's Sam again. I'm talking to John Burton who has just done a talk with us and there was a standing ovation at the end. So it was very emotional for a lot of GPs and I'm just going to chat with him about that. So John, how did it feel for you putting all that presentation together? It took some time. One of the lovely things was getting in touch with former students and, yeah. and getting their feedback on what had been important to them. Yeah. Um, and it's always neat to, to get that. There are some yeah. students that we've kept in contact with and others we haven't heard of for a while. Yeah, and sometimes you don't know what your impact was and I know that there was one particular story about a piano boy, so would you like to just tell us about that? Well that came about that the, the students are asked to do a practice contribution Yeah. and um, Thomas offered to do a, a um, a poster for our waiting room on the effects of alcohol. Yeah. Now our waiting room is actually full of, of pictures that school kids have done because our, our practice manager is also a secretary at the school and yes. we find that a lot more um, encouraging people come in, it's yeah. more people relate to that a lot better than posters about alcohol or cigarettes yeah. Yeah. or things. Yeah. And I, I, I'd heard that he was a very good piano player and said well look how about you put on a concert for the staff and when he realised I was serious he, yeah. he really got, got got into it and, and uh, over the next month memorised a, a three-quarter hour concert Wow! and he dressed up in a suit and he wrote a program with uh, yeah. had, had his different awards that he'd won and, and a little bit about each of the pieces he was yeah. playing yeah. and um, the staff had grown from about six to thirty that night <laughs> <laughs> and he, he was just, br just brilliant and then, yeah. we, then we followed that up there was a, um, a, a couple, the wife of whom is a piano teacher and I knew she would like the concert and they'd lost a child with leukaemia wow. um, when she was 10 mm. some years ago and, and her godmother had written a, a piece of music for her and I showed this to Thomas and, and um, I, I sort of played the viola and it was a viola part but he, he came up with a wonderful piano accompaniment Wow! and uh, we invited this, the couple to come for dinner and I said well the, uh, to, to hear Thomas's concert yeah. informally and I said, would you mind if we, we've been playing this, this um, piece of music for, of, of your daughters, would you mind if we played that for you? Wow. So I yeah. um, thought that needed a bit of preparation and um, they were ha more than happy to and it was very moving of course. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think um, at the proper concert, I'd, I'd, um, um, uh, Thomas's now wife, Cindy, came out and she's, mm. she's a, a professional piano player too. And I said, well, look, it would be really lovely if you did a, yeah. an encore together. Yeah, yeah. And Thomas rang his dad to get some, some music, and his dad's response was, oh, I didn't know you were still playing the, the <laughs> And Thomas had largely given up his piano playing to what? concentrate on, on medicine. On medicine, yeah. And uh, this was just discovering that he actually, it wasn't an either or, he could use his piano playing as a wonderful communication tool. Yeah. Um, it's and very so, cool. Yeah. Mm. No, it's great. And um, we had lots of stories about students and the changes that had been reflected in their lives just from being out in Kafia. And it's very rural. So my last question for you on this session is um, the passion that you have for rural. What's something that you'd like to see move and change? Yeah. Um, I think it's the, the, the heading for our for the talk was was it's all about relationships and, yep. and um, I think it's that's one of the key things in a rural okay. community and it's easy to lose sight of that with all the, the the hoops we have to jump through. Yes, yeah. And not just about relationships with patients directly, but but someone who's in a rural area for a while discovering the different resources of, of other people in the yep. community that yep. often can do things better than, than we can. Yeah. And, and tapping into to the, the resource. great resource that's actually there. Yeah, mm. that's great. Well, thank you very much for talking to us. I would recommend anyone to watch your session that you did this morning because your whole team was there and it was just amazing. So thank you very much. Thanks, Anne.